Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I'm going to teach how to make the student management system using Spring Boot application. So here you will be able to see the st st uh, student and teachers table, batch table and course table and enrollment table. So here the payment table. These are the table consist. Okay. So we have all we have how to implement the relationship. Everything we have to step talk about step by step. Okay. So the this system, these are the actors, student and teachers and badge and course, right? So first we have to make the project. So how to make the project? So we'll go to my Spring Boot application. So I'm going to create here. Uh, I'm going to create Spring Boot. Spring initializer. right it goes to the respective website click on this this one click on this it goes to the respective website you have to select the here maven select the spring boot as a 3.3.0 okay it's java which has java here language java maven this one okay right so don't select the snapshot okay so only select this one by the default it will selected you have selected okay so here the example here you have to give the group ID. It's a com example. So here I'm going to give here the project name some <coughs> student student some LBS. This is I, I give the name as LBS. LBS means this is a you you uh, you imagine this is your in, in, institute. Okay, you are doing the software for the institute. So and my name is I I'm going to give a LBS. Okay, so the name of the institute. Okay, the system. I'm going to give you as name is student management app. app. Right. This how the package has been created. Right. So it's Java version 17. I have put it here Java version 17. So you have to select as you have to select as here. You have to select as the dependencies. You have to add it over here. First one I'm going to add web. Second one I'm going to add it as a JPA. Third one I'm going to add as a web uh, MySQL dependency. Okay. So third, fourth one I'm going to use Lombok. Okay. If I use the get and set method, it will be manage manage everything. The Java annotation library. This is called as Java annotation library. Uh, this is a web. We have to manage the SQL API. This is a SQL query management. This is a MySQL driver. Right. Okay, now let's create generate. Okay, now you have your project is generated successfully. So just copy cut off this this project from the download folder. Go to the G drive and paste them. Now I'm going to extract it. Right click, extract file, paste right. You have extracted successfully. Okay, this is your file. Okay, now I'm going to open on this one in my VS Code editor. My VS Code editor. So how to open up on your VS Code editor? Just go to over here. I'm going to open, open, open. Here go to where my G drive. I have it my project in my G drive. Go to the respective website. This is G, G, G drive. You go to my G drive. Student management app. You have to find out the folder which name is student management app. Where is that? Student management. Okay, this one. Student management app. Don't open it over here. Go inside the folder. There is a file called this one. You have to open, not to open here. You just select the folder and click OK. You go inside the folder. Here there is a Spring Boot application file. Click on it. Trust project. I'm going to open up the new window. Right. Okay, for the if you open the first time here, it's the, all the dependencies get installed. What is the uh, dependency you gave the names? Okay, what's the name you gave your your Lombok and MySQL driver? All things it will be get installed. Okay, so here this one. Web JPA, all things get installed. Just think you have to do it. Okay, this all the dependency get installed on the which file? Form.xml file here. It is installing. Okay, don't close it this one. If you close it, you're your dependency don't install it okay okay so you have to install it that's the thing you have to write it 
Okay, so we have to accept that this one. Okay, you have to wait until the things completed. Now we have to test your computer which version of your Java you are installed go to the command from your type Java version your type version press enter key you have installed Java 17 in your machine okay Java 17 we already we have selected also Java 17 okay so here it in, install all the dependencies you have to wait until the process completed okay then only we have to do the project okay don't close it after you install the library you go to the form.xml here you what is the what are the dependencies you have get installed you can see here jpa web mysql and log perfect now first what i'm going to use your project which name is uh, student management app now here inside this project i'm going to create the packages what are the uh, packages we need we have to create step by step every package we have created the step by step okay first package i'm going to create here uh, i'm going to create which is a uh, here we have to create go to src main java here this is the default package okay the default package this package we already i saw in the when you configure the project we have configured as a spring initializer we saw com dot uh, LBS dot student management app. Okay, now I'm going to create the another package. So select this one, right click. I'm going to create the package which is a. I'm going to create the package. Sorry, not here. This one. I'm going to create a new package which is a. Uh, entity. First package I'm going to create entity. Second package I'm going to create as a. DTO. Third package I am going to create as a controller. Fourth package I am going to create as a entity controller repo. Okay. After that I am going to create another package as a service. These are the packages we need to create. Okay. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the resources file. Here I'm going to go to the application property. Here it defaultly we have to here we are here have to create the connectivity of the database and everything. So the database we are not going to create. Go to the MySQL and don't we are not going to create. We have created by the code. So okay, if you are not yet install the MySQL work badge in your machine, you have to go to the respective website and download and install the MySQL work badge. That is very essential things. Okay, so you have to download in order to do the program. First, you have to download the Intel J idea. The Intel J idea, you have to download them. Go to the respective website and download them. Here you have to download it. Then the second one you have to download the MySQL work badge work batch okay you have to download and install them okay so after install them okay so you have to open it mysql work batch this is your database mysql work batch inside this data inside this mysql uh, mysql work batch, your database is there this is the port where your database is connected okay so you have to double click on this okay okay sorry we have to connect this one click on this uh connect uh, external okay the problem is here you you didn't uh, i want to can you stop it the sq uh, exam here i'm going to run my server service okay if, if there is any problem after install them you have to if you, if you install if you open up the exam you have to uh stop it okay after that you have to in your service there is a, a service called which is a MySQL. You have to run them. Then only you here, it is not running. You have to run the server. Then only the MySQL database, the MySQL work page is running. Now here, you, you never get this error. Now keep it asked the user. Okay, so I'm going to password your type the password. Sorry. I have a wrong password I have entered. Password, oops, 123. What's the problem?
Rook. Rook has one, two, three, I think. Okay. So the, uh, I haven't the I have gave the username password wrong. That's why it, it it is not running that time. Now it's working. So I got the schema. These are the current databases available. Okay, this is the schemas. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is now here after that I'm going to go to my my script here. I want to implement my you have to go to my tutors funny. Okay, so you don't need to type this all the things. This already they are in the predefined. So you have to go to my springboard section. Okay, you just copy and paste it. Okay, all the things are there here. So here I want I'm going to go to my this I already explained this all the credit application. So here this is the, your full stack development. You can go over here. Okay. So I'm going to go to over here. I'm going to open up this. Okay. Right. So here you can see this is all the things are there. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to my database connectivity connection. Here this is the file. I just copy this, paste it over here. Okay, this is the file. Okay, so here the do the database configuration application property. This one. Okay, see what I did here is here you can see this is your project name. I'm going to give as a student app. I gave. So this is a port, server port. What is the port your uh, Spring application need to be run? You can give any port. Here I have given as 8084. If you want, you can change the port whatever. 8085, 8081, whatever what I'm going to give as a 8082. This is the first time you have created the database. You have to do it as a create first time. After that, you make it as update after database is created. This is the database driver. If you install the MySQL server, this is a driver. MySQL from MySQL CGA JDBC driver. This is the driver. Okay, this is a driver. Right. After that, here you have to make the your databases reside on where you have to implement at the path over here. My database reside on where is a MySQL workbench. So here you can here if you have check. Sorry. If I open up, you can see what the port your MySQL is running. Here local os double three zero six. So you're at double double uh, double three zero six. There's a port, there's a local os server. Your database, what is the name I'm going to create here is student management system. So you have to, I'm going to give you the name as LBS, L B S M. This is my school name. I just give the name, whatever name you can give. LBSM school. This is the name of my database. Okay. If not exit, you can create the database, new database. After that, you have to give the user credential. While I installed the MySQL work badge, I gave root is a username. Password is root at 123. Okay, you have to given here root is a username password root 123 root and 123 this will be our password this is your jpa configuration you have to leave as it is okay this is the thing you have to do it this is a configuration you have to make okay okay so this database i just copy control c copy it only thing you have just copy it. that's it now let's run the application you click on this just see the database how the database is creating Here the problem is that this is a problem it will be happening so here what i'm going to be able to make the solution for it what might be the error is the update version so you have a problem with this this minus the dialect you have to so just do it as dialect only minus the dialect okay that's the update version that's a problem i have to update this one don't worry now let's run the code again Right, it's working. 
the only the problem what is the problem we are getting you try to solve your problem okay so here this one okay now we are your database is created let's check it so just copy this code just copy this one lbs is here you go to the your right side you go you have a database click on this pulse symbol data source here you select the mysql we have you have type the user credential of mysql root which is a username password root at 123 you have to specify the database which you are created now here if the driver is missing they are telling you have to download them click on download it take care of your if there any error it will be take care of it okay if you need it's asking the the driver is missing something else okay so don't worry there is a button called download it take care of it don't worry about that now you click on the test connection the connection succeed click apply okay click ok you have got it now you have refresh it now here your database the database is there we have we not yet created any tables yet so that we have created the database only inside the database we have created the table inside the entity what's the table name we need all the things we have made it by the entity okay this this the things we have to talk about in my next video tutorial i hope you 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 understand so far well thank you for watching right